Good morning, guys. Well, I have had the pleasure of interacting with awesome people from all over the world since I started this YouTube channel, but rarely do I get to do it in person. Two weeks ago, Eric McVeigh stopped by from the old Jarhead channel. He has a channel I think you guys would like. He's been milling for about 12 years. He's got an LT40. He's a super nice guy, and he puts out a lot of great content, so I will link his channel at the end of this video. You should check it out. Now let's make some sawdust. I see that? That went awesome. What a difference a little bit of experience makes. I don't think you have to own a sawmill to know how awesome that just was. Flipping this over the hard way using only the log clamp. Sounds like it's struggling a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and switch out the blade and process this sucker up. If you ever want to find a nail that's buried in a tree, put a brand new blade on. You'll, you'll hit it just perfectly. Unbelievable. If my count is correct, this nail was driven in 64 years ago. 14 years before I was born. Don't really need a straight edge for that one. Well, that blade's ruined, so dang it. I'm going to dig that nail out and keep an eye out for some more discoloring like this. By the way, if you've already commented a guess on how much lumber I was going to get, you may want to adjust your number now. Just barely skimmed it, but that blade is ruined for sure. So, 
Man, I'm, I'm down to about four blades is all I got left, so let's hope for the best. I don't have my metal detector with me. I will bring that home and put that on the wall of shame. Can you see the problem with my sawmill here? I just put a fresh blade on and in uh, over 300 hours of sawmilling, this is the only second time it's happened, the blade is on inside out. Putting a blade on inside out is different than putting it on backwards. When the blade's on backwards, the teeth would be facing me at the controls, but when it's inside out, the teeth are facing the right direction but they're pointing the wrong way and won't cut. Once I've gotten all my easy lumber, I'll put these two inch thick slabs back up and resaw them into whatever dimension board I can get out of them. Here I've dropped the saw down six inches to start making slabs for my two by sixes.
Well, that is going to be it for that first log. I've got 65 two by fours, 17 two by sixes, and five one by fours. Um, I think that's a pretty good haul. I'll add that up in uh, Home Depot dollars and put it on the screen here right now. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm gonna come back tomorrow and do some more milling, and uh, that video will be out eventually. But I appreciate you watching this one, and we will see you really soon.